You're watching KSD3 News with Dave Reinhardt, Sherry Carr, and Allison Westfall. Welcome back, CUNA. I'm here with Ryan Olson, the KHS Choir Director, to help me host today. Welcome. The holiday season is upon us, and this month is full of special activities in our schools and community. One of those special events is the KHS Winter Choir Concert. Ryan, tell us all about it. This has become one of the community's favorite events. The CUNA Performing Arts Center has 825 beautiful seats, and we are doing three evenings of holiday music, December 9th, 10th, and 12th. It is a combined effort with the orchestra, and the choirs and orchestra will do numbers that you may recognize. We're doing Leroy Anderson's Sleigh Ride. We end with the Hallelujah Chorus with all of the orchestra and choir members. It's very exciting. Tickets are $5. There's a few left that will be a bit available at the door as long as we've got them. Sounds great, Ryan. Thank you. Our music programs are some of the best in the Treasure Valley. Now, if you'd like to attend other holiday events, please note the schedule we are posting. There's lots of fun coming up. But not so fun winter weather. Here's a quick update on what to expect when it snows. When the weather's bad, that means our buses are going to go slow just the way you and I are going to drive slow to work or to the store. Things sometimes are slippery. Uh, sometimes there's ice that we don't see. So we anticipate that. Our buses, you can, you can generally assume our buses could be anywhere from a couple minutes late to 15 minutes late. Uh, if it's much later than that, they try to notify parents individually. But generally speaking, they're going to be a little late, and uh, that's a good thing. I would much rather that they take their time and get everybody to school and from school safely. We do our best at the school district to keep our walks clear and to keep our driveways and parking lots clear. But there are times when black ice forms or when we miss something or can't get to something in time. Please be super careful when you're on our property. Uh, watch our walks, walks, watch our parking lots, and around the premise for what might be black ice or slip, slick spots. We thank our maintenance team for always getting here early and taking care of things. We thank everybody, the custodians, all the people that work so hard to make this a safe environment. Snow days here at the school district are rare. We haven't had one for three years, but when we do have them, we'll notify you before 5.30 in the morning. We'll notify you on TV, local TV stations, Facebook page, and with a text message. Even with the snow, construction on the new Swan Falls High School is on track. That's right. And as we prepare for another high school, the CUNA Education Foundation sponsored a contest for the community to submit designs combining Swan Falls and CUNA High. The winner was from Fremont Middle School. Take a look. The first thing that popped in my head was to have a caveman holding a lightning bolt. And so I looked at a bunch of previous logos and such from, of cavemen from past things. I used them as a base for like the clothing and the muscles and stuff. And then I just drew a lightning bolt. Raven's design was turned into a special edition sticker that's being sold as a fundraiser for the CUNA Education Foundation. The foundation provides scholarships for students and grants for teachers in the CUNA School District. Senior projects are one of the requirements for graduation, and in this week's Empower feature, we have a special project to share with you. Check it out. I'm Michaela Rausch. I am a senior at CUNA High School. For my senior project, I constructed Nine Square for Silver Trail. Nine Square is a mix of volleyball and four square. I was able to watch the kids use their motor skills and work together as a team to accomplish this great game. So my plan after high school is to attend college. I want to go into the field of early education for children. There's one more special event that we want to let you know about before we sign off. Mark your calendar for Saturday, December 14th and the annual CUNA Down Home Country Christmas Celebration and the Nightlight Parade. 
Arcuna's very own 4A state football champs and coach of the year, Sherm Blaser, will be a part of the parade, as well as our amazing band and other CUNA high school teams. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on KSD3 News.